So we have here Iron Man Motto 1. So here's a quick look at the box. On the side. And in the back here. Comes with two fists, smoke okay. effect, and two blast effect or rocket effects there. And here's the side of the box artwork. And the top has the logo there. Get that. Here he is. Here's the effects already attached. The smoke effect around the blast effect. So you can take those off. So the neck can go, head can go 360. It only turn, you can go only go down that much and look up about that much. He has pinless joints. Double jointed knees. Okay. You can see there's no pins on this side either. There's no ab crunch, but this is the first Iron Man suit, so he can bend about that much. That's not very much. He can bend back about that much. You can see detail in the back here. Some molded detail. You can hear that. The belt. Like a sticker for the reactor. No, this is actually molded. I thought it was a sticker. But it's actually molded in there. It's pretty smooth. A little control okay. antenna, which is actually molded. It's good. So the only other accessories he comes with are blast effect hands, but there is no port on them. So it's just filled in. You can have him walking like a zombie or something. He also can swivel at the at the uh, thigh. See that on both legs here. Now for his ports, he's got a port for a peg okay. stand and for like effect pieces. So the top one is for effects. You can see and that port's right in here. The other one in. You got a flight stand, you can use them like blasting off. Too bad they didn't put any ports in the hand, so you can use that. But when you want to attach these, it's like a trick to put these together so you could have the smoke effect on here. Like here is just the uh, blast effect, just like this. You can see it. It's got like flexible plastic. So you can try it this way to peg it in first. And then try to put the blast effect around. Okay. 
which is a little harder. So what I like to do is put the effect around the blast effect first and then peg it in. So it's all the way all around, you can see. Just make sure you can see the peg at the bottom. And there you go. Or if you don't like the effect, you can take this other piece that comes off of the blast effect and then you can peg it in that way too. Okay. You can see it's just that way. And then again, here's the other look. whatever way you prefer. So let's do a comparison with... Oh, actually I didn't notice something. If you can... The camera will pick that up. He's got like molded battle damage. I don't know if that's supposed to be there or it's supposed to be molded battle damage. And like see it very light. Okay. So we'll do a quick comparison with a couple other figures here. Here's a quick comparison with Was showed, showed one of the star jammers. Which one? Showed. So there's a quick comparison. Comes up like right under his chin. Yeah, so he comes like right up under his chin there. We have Extremis Iron Man, so pretty much, uh, pretty much the same height. So we got Iron Man Zero One and Extremis Iron Man here, and you can use the blast effects from from Iron Man Zero One okay. and Extremis Iron Man and the hands. Or the feet. So it's interesting that this extremis that Iron Man that came out before this one, this one has more peg holes in the bottom. This one only has a standard two. So why they put two extra ones in here? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Unless they want you to have two effects on one foot. You could do something like that. But there he is, Iron Man Zero One.